Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well in all your ways and that you have anchored into the new Africa. And what exactly is the new Africa? Mm, I'm going to share that. I'm going to share what the new Africa is because there is an old Africa uh, that was hijacked and that is kind of passing away because it can't even, um, you know, there's, there's no, it's going through like a rebirth, but it's like the way you shed your old skin. So there's that old skin of Africa that sadly so many of us are connected to, but there's a new snake of Africa, if you want to play like that. I know that sounds so crazy that it's also emerging, and I'll definitely get into that in another episode. But throughout 2023, we've been seeing incredible signs uh, of confirmation of what the ancestors told us would happen at such a time as this, and that is the restoration of Africa. That is the transfer transference of global power to the South. That is us coming, the ancient future that we talk talked about where the ancient ones would return and create a brand new story. We're not going back to the pyramids of Egypt. We're not going back to, you know, the Bantu nations, the Shaka Zulu nations and all that of old. We're not even going to the old Agekoyo nation. We're not even returning to Wakanda. But instead, we're going to quantum leap and create a whole new Africa based on what has happened to us in the seasons that we just passed in the recent generations and combine that with who we were in the ancient past, which is why so many came here. And we had to go through the worst of the worst experience, not only to immunize us and to immunize the future from this ever happening again, where we're colonized and we're enslaved, from that ever happening again, where we've now been immunized. And a lot of us have taken that knowledge back to our galactic nations so that it enters our individual and global and ancestral and familial Akashic records so that we know the signs of narcissist nations, narcissist people, narcissist worlds, prison planets, and we know how to not only liberate those prison planets, but to ensure that once you see that cancer seeping in, you're able to quarantine it, carve it out, and send it back into the pits of hell. Uh, so family, make sure that you're connected to the new Africa and that you're, you're not connected to the old skin of Africa that is just a skin. There's a new Africa that is emerging and that Africa, it's only visible to those whose first eye is open. We're seeing it in visions and in dreams. Let me know if you're seeing this in the comments below, family. But it's like I'm seeing a new Africa, like it's already here. I'm having experiences, like I'm astral traveling and, and living my best life and then coming back and being like, damn, we're not there yet. And that new Africa exists on the spiritual plane. It exists on the mental plane. It has trickled down to the heart plane. It is all around our energy, all around our aura. Some of us are walking with it. So people look at us like, you know, wow, we're shimmering, we're shining. We're magnetic to this spiritual, mystical vibes that are just all around us, waiting to manifest through us. And I'm telling you, family, it is, whew. I actually even feel like paradise doesn't, the word paradise doesn't do it any justice. That's how I honestly, honestly feel, family, because it is beyond 
our wildest in, in, uh, you know, imaginations. Right now, it's just an energy and an anticipation as our individual lives are being pumped in with abundance and with prosperity. And so in this season, a lot of you may find yourselves transitioning in terms of career, transitioning once again in terms of location. But you know what? For the individual, definitely check out Dr. Mumbi's Spiritual Show. That's where I'll have that information. Make sure you're subscribed to both the Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show and this channel family. And join, consider joining us on Patreon. While we're still here, give us that encouragement to keep to, you know, as we move into abundance, to keep you know, sharing the awakening news because Africa is awake. And just the fact that we're awake is changing everything. And so family, for you, you need to tap up into the new Africa on a spiritual level first. Then you need to tap into the new Africa on a heart level, like loving yourself operating in radical self-love and then loving Mama Africa. And it's deeper than that, I'll get into that. And then thirdly, you need to start tapping into the new narrative of Africa. That's how, that new Africa now on the mental plane, the new narrative of Africa, because that's what's just about to drop into our realities family. And this isn't a joking thing. And if you don't get it, then unfortunately this may not be the cycle that you, you liberate yourself from the mental prison and you may just have to go through another Babylon cycle for you to recognize it. But family, trust me, you don't want to be connected to what is gonna happen to Babylon. Not just because of the severe judgment and spiritual justice, but because next, the ignorance is so deep around, like this so deep this time around, that next time we come back into this opening, because they're going to go back into a dark ages cycle. They're going to repeat a loop, but there's so much being done to create crazy ignorance and to really create limitations that probably this will be the last time it's this easy to escape the prison planet. So save your consciousness, save your heart, save your mind, save future generations by saving your soul. So, do you want to connect to this new Africa family? The way you do that is you have to now let go of religion and become spiritual. That's the first step. You must release religion or you must only use religion as a tool to anchor in your faith. Because I've met spiritual people who are Christian. So they're not like, they wouldn't say, you know, it's not the way I'd say, I'm a Kikuyu. So they're not tribally or too religiously Christian. But that's how they've anchored their, their faith because they're like, you know, that's how I know how to pray to God. That's how I know how to fast. I, you know, that's how I've, 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 I've worked out in my, in my spirit, how to kind of call on spirit and call on, you know, the angels, whatever. So only use it as a tool. But if it is dictating what life is to you, then you're just not going to be able to anchor into the new Africa because the new Africa is very, it's a spiritual way of life. It's, a, it's, it's so deep, it can't even actually be described physically. It's a reconnection to our ancient past. We are the future that is connecting to the ancient ones to create the ancient future. And some ancient ones will walk around, as I've always said. So you must move back into spiritually. You, and, and to even connect to the new Africa family, you need to connect to the ancient ones. You can't just be the future. How are you going to know what we're creating? Because we're not just creating the future, we're creating the ancient future. So you must now reconnect to our God, our gods, the Most High, our ancestors. You must reconnect to nature and Mama Earth and have the same reverence and respect for the trees, the rivers, the lakes. And the way you know you're reconnected is because first of all, nature will heal you or will start to heal you through maybe herbal remedies, through maybe cleansing through water, going to the ocean and you feel better. Many things calming your mind. 
And then when you're now reaching like that mastery level, nature will call on you to heal her. And that's when you know that now you're, you're tapped into the new Africa. You've been called into a new works. So once you've connected spiritually to your ancestors, to just a deeper spiritual connection family, because all religion is like kindergarten level spirituality. It's like you're just at primary school level. And we have to go deeper because the new Africa is deeper. It's further, it's higher than the, it's, it's like now way past even the doctorate. But you don't need a doctorate to get their stories for other days. So once you've connected to the new Africa spiritually, which means connecting to our ancient past, our ancient story, then now you can move into connecting to her emotionally, which means like feeling the pain of what happened to our ancestors. Feeling the pain and the struggle and just, just feeling the narrative that is dying. The narrative that is linked to the old skin. Because we've shed that skin of being slaves and being col the colonized and being oppressed and being in lack and being poor and being, you know, hungry and being angry and being afraid. We've, that's the shit skin we've shed. And it took uh, many, many decades, but a lot of that shedding happened powerfully in 2023. And we're moving into more of that shedding in 2024 and beyond. But as we're, there's a lot more of us that's out in the new. And so the skin is just slowly falling away, family. And once, so, so we have to feel the pain not just, I hope you've been doing the individual work that I talk about on Dr. Mumbi's spiritual show. Please check out the channel and make sure you're subscribed. But I hope you've been doing the work to heal yourself of your own pain. A beautiful hummingbird just landed on a flower over there, family. That's paradise. Anyway, that you've rebalanced yourself, what happened to you, and you've kind of just, you've cried it out, you've meditated it, you've, you know, used whatever, whatever substances you needed to use to go through that and just make peace with that. And we're going to also need to do the same for Mama Africa. That's some of the work of the new Africa, because for us, we also want to pull that, that old skin off faster. And the way we do that is just to, to feel her story to feel what has been done to Mama Africa and she's still here, guiding and guarding and protecting her young ones, us. And to let that go and to just give love, feel the excitement now that that is over. Feel her rebirth and her resurrection. And tap because that is also the new Africa. A healed heart for what happened. So that, because you know, it's only through a healed heart, it's only through going through the tears, the pain, the anger, the anguish, and crying it out and forgiving that you are able. And remember, forgiveness is for yourself because judgment is judgment, and judgment will fall on those who oppressed us. This is not about that. But now that I know that's going to happen, I'm focusing less on that. Because before I felt like we would never get our justice, but that justice is imminent. And then l learn to love Mama Africa again. And the way you learn Mama, love to Mama Africa again, because the new Africa is purely on the vibration of love. So you can't be in, in the new Africa if you're not vibrating on love. So the way you learn to love Mama Africa again is by learning to love one another. learning to have compassion for one another, learning to see one another, to see the goodness and the, and the badness in the narratives that come, the stories, our everyday stories. Not to allow people to exploit us, to defend ourselves, but at this point, if you're at this level, your defense should be natural. Where someone show, shoots a dart, it returns back to them with five other darts without them even knowing. But it's time for us to learn to love ourselves, to learn to love each other, 
and to learn to love Mama Africa again. Because that love has been blocked by pain, by brokenness. Wow. That freaked me out, family. Um, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. To all the dispossessed youth of Africa. For perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits. Through the fight for African freedom. And in the firm faith that the dead, the living, and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines.